throw it in, reel it in. Wow, wait a second. I wonder why it's doing a lollipop. Put it in, toss it. Little fishies, little fishies, come on out to play. Green. The word star. Did you thought pretty? Oh, lollipop. Blue fish. Magic to work. Wow. The sea. Underwear. Wow. Rainbow fish. Shoulders. Magic. Wow. Lollipop. Raining. Row, row, row. Gently down the stream. Binoculars off. See friends over there. Keep going. Happy. The lollipop. Here you go. Sam, the lollipop. Here you go. Rainbow. The rainbow. Take a picture. Snap a picture. Snap. Oh no. Picture that we took. Hi everyone. We are back with a brand new interactive story. This one is called Lollipop Lake. As always, it has been illustrated and created by Go Go Speech. This activity is going to take us on a trip to Lollipop Lake where we will join our good friend Lily for a fun-filled day of fishing. But you'll find out there aren't regular fish in this water. Work on your goals or sing them a favorite song and they'll show you the real reason why people call it Lollipop Lake. This is a one resource activity that you can use with all of your kids by adjusting your presentation of it to target their goals. You can work on a wide range of skills such as formulating sentences, inferencing and predicting, story retell, social pragmatic skills, answering WH questions, core words and early language skills, prepositions, requesting and describing, speech sounds, and more. You can pick some repetitive phrases and verbal routines to use throughout that include target sounds and language goals to get lots of trials in. So I'm just going to quickly go through to show you what it looks like and provide you with some ideas on how you can use it in your sessions. We're going to start off with some magic doors, and you can see if your kids can guess what the activity might be about based on the objects on the door. Push! We're on the lake! Hmm, I see a boat and some water. You see something? <gasps> Come out! <gasps> Hi, it's our friend Lily. Hi, Lily. I wonder what we're going to be doing today. She's reaching her hand in. A fishing pole? I bet we're going to go fish. So as you go through the story, clicking through the slides, you are going to be able to talk about each thing that's happening. So now, what is Lily doing? Cast the pole. Let's help her. Throw it in. An arrow. She needs something else out of the red box. Reach in a bucket. I think she wants to put the fish in the bucket. And you're going to place the bucket right where the arrow is. Grab the bucket. Put down. What is it? The fishing pole is bent. Do you think we caught a fish? So when you're reeling in the fishing pole, you might pretend it's really hard to reel in. So your kids can tell you things like, try harder or keep pushing, reel it in. We pulled it up. Wow, look at that fish. That's a pretty fish. That is so cool. And look, there's an arrow in the bucket. I think that means we need to put the fish in the bucket. All right, so for this first one, you want to grab the fish and you're going to toss it into the bucket or throw it or put in. Toss the fish. Wait a second, what's happening? It looks like a magic cloud or magic dust. I don't know. I wonder why it's doing a lollipop. How did that fish turn into a lollipop? Oh my goodness. It looks like Lily loves lollipops and you'll get lots of L sounds in there. So I think we're going to be collecting this lollipop instead of the fish. I can't believe it turned into a lollipop. That is pretty cool. So same thing that you were going to do with the fish. You're going to take the lollipop and you are going to put in. It made it into the bucket. All right, we have our lollipop in the bucket. Now it looks like it's time for us to cast the fishing pole again. So whatever you have your kids say each time you cast or each time you pull up the fish, that's all going to be depending on what your kids are working on. So whatever speech sounds or language goals they're working on, you want to address that during those repetitive phrases. So maybe you'll say, toss the hook, toss it. All right, we're waiting. Also, while you wait, there are some different things you can do. For the really little kids, you could do something just as simple as saying, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you think we have a fish? Or I did include a song suggestion in this file. This song is just to the tune of that Spider Spider song that we did for the Spider Spiders Everywhere activity. It's very simple and you can adjust it and throw in some words that have your target sounds, whatever you need to do to get a lot of trials in with your kids. So this song goes like this. Little fishies, little fishies, come on out to play. Little fishies, little fishies, please don't swim away. So that's something you can sing every time you're waiting for the fish to bite the hook. And again, change it up as needed. A fish, reel it in. A green fish, 
So now that we know that this lake is magical, we might want to say something to the fish to get it to turn into a lollipop. So we're going to try to get all the rest of the fish to turn into lollipops too, so that we can add it to our bucket of lollipops. So just like with everything else I was talking about, you want to adjust that language that you use or the language that you prompt your kids to say, you want that to adjust their goals. So maybe you'll say, hey fish, are you a lollipop? Or maybe you'll say, where's the magic? Or I want a green lollipop. Whatever you need to say to address those goals. It worked! Whoa! A green star lollipop. That's really cool. So you're going to grab the lollipop and you're going to throw it into the bucket. All right, cast it. Now you may notice that in a bunch of slides in this activity, there's a little duck that appears randomly. So you might want to keep an eye on this duck and see if you can find it as you go through the story. Little fishies, little fishies, come on out to play. Little fishies, little fishies, please don't swim away. Looks like we caught another fish. Reel it in. Oh no! This isn't a fish, it's a stinky sock. P.U. Go away, stinky sock. Lily thinks it's so funny that she found a stinky sock. That is not a fish. So whenever you pull something out of the water that is not a fish, you can get rid of it by saying, go away, stinky sock. Or you can push it away, or you can flick it, and then it's time to cast again. Cast the pole. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I hope it's not another stinky sock. Reel it in. This one is hard. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. It's pink and purple. We want lots of lollipops. Oh, it worked. I can't wait to see what this lollipop looks like. Make sure you're throwing in lots of words and phrases throughout that include your child's target sounds if they're working on speech sounds. So maybe a child working on L or S, you'll say, let's see throughout this activity a whole bunch of times and you'll get so many trials in. Let's see. <gasps> wow, look at that lollipop. And you can talk about all the colors in the swirl. This one is long. So make sure you're describing all of the lollipops that you find. And then you're going to take the lollipop or grab the lollipop and you are going to toss it into the bucket. All right, cast the pole. Little fishy, little fishy. Another fish. All right, reel it in. Pull it up. A blue fish. Wow. And you'll say whatever you want to say to try to get the magic to work. What is it going to look like? Wow! And describe it and then toss it into your bucket. There's the duck again. Cast the fishing pole. <gasps> Lily is laying down on the boat or the canoe or the seat. I think we caught another one. Let's see. <gasps> oh no! It looks like someone's underwear or someone's boxers or swim trunks bathing suit, whatever you want to call it. And you can describe it. Lily thinks it's so funny. She thought this was going to be a fish again, didn't she? Throw it back in. Now there's one more fish, so you're just going to go through the sequence again. Little fishies, little fishies. Oh, reel it in. Keep going, keep going. Oh, whoa, look at that fish. Is that a rainbow fish? Look at all the colors. I wonder if this one is going to turn into a lollipop too. Are you a lollipop? Oh, I think the magic is happening. Whoa, it did turn into a lollipop. It looks like a rainbow. Lily is really excited about these lollipops. Grab the lollipop, toss it in. Whoa, look at Lily with all of her new lollipops. It looks like Lily wanted to take them out so we could take a look at them again. She's so happy about finding all of these lollipops in Lollipop Lake. So here you can just get a chance to describe all of them again if you'd like. You can talk about the shapes and how they're different from each other. You can see the duck is popping its head up in the corner. You can count them. You can talk about which one is the child's favorite lollipop or which one they would want. Oh no. Uh-oh, Lily. It's raining. 
what are we gonna do? It looks like Lily wants us to put the lollipops back in the bucket. So you're gonna take all the lollipops and you're gonna throw them in the bucket or put in. Oh, phew, okay, they're in the bucket. Now what are we gonna do? We're in the rain. It looks like Lily has an idea. What should we do, Lily? Whoa, Lily has the paddles for the boat. I bet she wants us to help her paddle back to shore. So we can tell Lily, let's go, we'll help you. So now we're in the boat with Lily and Lily is going to be paddling, but we're also going to be helping. So this will work if you are using a green screen or if you are just screen sharing or using it in person. If using it as a green screen, you can just pretend to hold on to one of the paddles and you go back and forth between this slide and the next slide to go up and down with the paddles. Now, while we're rowing the boat, you may want to sing row, row, row your boat, or you can make up a new song with lots of sounds that the child's working on. So just go back and forth between the next two slides to make Lily row the boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Whoa, does Lily see something? What do you see? She has binoculars. She must see something pretty cool. I wanna see what she sees. Can we try them, Lily? And then you can have your kids pretend to get their binoculars up. Whoa, this is so cool. I see a campfire, some tents, a picnic table, some trees. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else over there. Let's keep looking. Whoa, what do you see here? Oh, I see friends over there. I think they want us to come join them. They look nice and dry under that roof. Let's go see them. We're still in the water though. We better row faster. Keep going, get closer to shore. So if you want, you can sing the song again as Lily continues to row the boat. We almost made it to shore. We're so close. Keep going, Lily. A little bit more. Yay, we made it. Now we can go get dry under that roof. Hey, now we can say hi to all of our friends. We made it. Lily is saying hi. So we have our friends, Billy, Phoebe, Sam, and Kevin. You may recognize these characters from our previous activities. However, we do have a new character, Phoebe. You can use the GoGo -Go speech names for them, or you can change the names of all of the characters in the stories to better address your kids' goals. So if you're working on a certain sound, you may want to change all of their names to start with that sound or to have that sound in it. So you can individually say hi to all of our friends. Hi, Billy. Hi, Phoebe. And then... <gasps> Whoa, Lily showed them all the lollipops. I think they're happy. So you go back and forth between these two slides and you'll see Phoebe's jumping. Sam is throwing his arms up in the air. Billy's doing a little dance and Kevin's giving a thumbs up. I think they're pretty excited about these lollipops. Now Lily is going to share her lollipop. She's going to give them away to each of the characters one by one. So here you can make some really nice sentences. Lily is giving Billy a lollipop. Or you can say, Billy, take the lollipop. Here you go. So whatever you decide to say here, you can use for each of the characters. Here you go. Here's your lollipop or you get a green one. Lily's giving Sam a lollipop. Here you go, Kevin. And it looks like there's one left. I wonder if that's for Lily. Lily picked the rainbow lollipop for herself. She really likes that one. Now your kids might notice that the rain stopped and the sun is coming up in the corner up there. Lily looks surprised. Why? Is there a rainbow up there? That looks like her lollipop. That is so cool. Let's go look. Wow, look at the rainbow. That is beautiful. And everyone is eating their lollipops or they're licking their lollipops. They look really yummy. And it looks like Lily is holding something. Is that a camera? Whoa, it looks like Lily wants us to take a picture. I think she wants you to help take it. Grab the camera. This is going to be a beautiful picture. So you can have your kids hold their hands up and pretend to take the picture, press the button, Snap a picture, whatever you want to say to get sounds in. And snap oh, the duck. What is it going to do? Oh no, the duck is licking her lollipop. Everyone thinks it's so silly or so funny.
funny. I guess the duck really wanted a lollipop all along. And then the last slide of the file shows Lily holding the framed picture that we took. Now she can always remember her day at Lollipop Lake. If you're signed up as a GoGo member, you will also get access to some different printable PDFs that go along with this activity. So these printable PDFs can be used in person or emailed over to the parents to be used at home during your virtual sessions. So GoGo members will get a printable of each of the fish that are seen in the story, as well as a printable of each of the lollipops that they turned into. So you can play around with these images in your sessions. Maybe you'll cut them out or turn them into a game or maybe present them each time you get to that object in the story and have the child collect those pieces along the way. GoGo members will also get these printable coloring pages that go along with this activity. So we have a coloring page of a fish. So this can be colored with whatever your child's favorite colors are, as well as a coloring page that includes each of the lollipops. For those kids that are really motivated by coloring, they may enjoy coloring in each of the lollipops as they are revealed throughout the story. Or it can be something given at the end of the activity for some reinforcement. In addition to those, we also provide a companion book for each of our members for every single activity that we put out. These companion books are shortened versions of the stories and games, and they can be printed out and cut out for sequencing activities, which are really great for in person use. These PDF companion books are also super useful because you can write or type your child's target sounds on it after your session and then send that over to the family. So if you're in person, you can print it out and send that home with the child. Or if you're virtual, you can email this companion book right over to the family and they can go through the story and they can work on the target sounds that you included on the PDF as well. So that's Lollipop Lake. I hope you all have a blast with it. Make sure you're following GoGo Speech on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on our latest releases. I'll see you all next time. Bye.